A rain-delayed NHRA Summit Southern Nationals concluded with a bang on a sunny Monday afternoon at Atlanta Dragway in Commerce, Georgia. It was only fitting that Spencer Massey, one of six drivers who lost a qualifying run on Friday, and then one of five who ran during Sunday's postponed eliminations, crossed the finish line on fire and first. Massey's victory was his first of the season and the 13th of his career. It's just been, what can I say, wow. It's been a big wow factor. I mean, yesterday with that first round matchup, the way the track was, it was totally a, a driver's race. And I looked at Todd and said, back in the A fuel car, driving injected nitro, this is whenever I'd be told to hold the brake leave in the start line. He looked back at me and said, do it. So I said, okay. We walked out there, we looked about 200 feet, and so it starts getting better there. He goes, hold it till you get to here. I said, okay, this is what I used to do whenever I drove top alcohol dragster. And I got up there and I, when I left the line, held the brake, I got out there about 150 feet a little too soon, started releasing the brake. It started spinning, I got out of it, grabbed the brake again, and I held on to it until I got to about eighth mile and we luckily got the round win. But that's where a true driver's race comes into play. There's mixed emotions about what should happen on, on the race Sunday morning, or Sunday night, so I should say. And I think that when you get up there, even though the track wasn't very good, we both raced on equally bad racetrack. In Funny Car, Robert Height scored his 33rd career Funny Car title at the expense of spoiling teammate Courtney Force's bid to score the 100th female professional win. The victory was Height's fourth in six races and his third in a row. It had to be a tough emotional final round for you. Of course, you want to win and you want to see Courtney win 100, the 100th 100 female. How did you deal with that? I mean, as a president, business, business-wise, it says, well, you know, this would be a big boost for the team, but then I want to win too. Oh, exactly. But you know, uh, she she has a job to do for Texas, and I have a, a job to do for Auto Club, and uh, you know. She wouldn't have wanted to win it any other way, you know. And I still believe that car, Traxxas car, is starting to come around. And I, she's going to have a shot at it. We're on a roll here. We go, you know, two more races in a row. And uh, you know, Brittany's car is starting to come around. So I'll be honest. If I could script it, uh, I'd like to see Brittany get her first win, and it'd be the hundredth female. For the 17th time in their pro stock careers, Jackie Coughlin and Greg Anderson met in a final round. The defending series champion Coughlin overcame a 005 reaction time from Anderson to score the victory with a 655 elapsed time at 211 miles per hour. Talk about that final with your great rival with Greg. I mean, Greg has 74 wins. For those of us who keep score, you have 73 total. Right. You guys are right there with each other. And then, you know, obviously the, the sponsor rivalry and, you yep. know, and his comeback. Talk about that for you. No, it's uh, it's obviously great to have him have him back. Uh, you know, we stayed in touch as as he was going through his surgery and recoveries, and and uh, you know, yeah, we've got different uh, sponsors on the side of our car, and obviously in my case, it's a family business. But uh, you know, we we are a pretty close family out here as far as competitors go too. And uh, but you know, as uh, you know, his first race back, we ended up running him first round and uh, and got the best of him, and really felt extremely confident coming into the final here in Atlanta. Uh, he was doing one heck of a job behind the wheel. Uh, you know, saw in the tree down, I think his worst light was a 15, and and um, I knew we'd have to be on our best behavior there in the final, and, and felt like we could uh, certainly, uh, you know, be in the ballpark of which we ended up being. So uh, it, uh, it it was a great win for us. Uh, certainly wanted to keep keep the yellow and black car out in front of him, and, and uh, you know, you know, Summit, they put a lot in, lot into drag racing, and uh, certainly you won't, wouldn't ever hear a, a negative word come out of my mouth on that end. Eddie Krawick made a clean sweep of the event by winning from the number one qualifying position with a 680 with a six elapsed time. For, for us, last one was Pomona 2012 to have a Harley-Davidson final, and uh, I think when we won and runnered up in Charlotte and then doing it again, put the period on our exclamation point. So, you know, we're we're excited. We're glad to be back. Um, we got a lot of Harley Davidson fans that stand behind us and, and root us on. So we're we're proud that we're representing Harley Davidson to the best of our efforts and the best that we can. Nitrous racer Ricky Smith was in a class of his own all weekend with a 5.7 second, 250 mile per hour pace. The seven time drag racing champion didn't let up in the final by scoring his fifth NHRA Pro Modified title with a 582 at 249 miles per hour to beat Von Smith. 
The sportsman portion of the NHRA Southern Nationals was headlined by a father-son winner's circle. Second generation Ryan Richardson scored his first career national event victory when he won super stock over second generation racer Chad Taylor. His father, Edmund Richardson, maintained the family name as he won national event number 47 by beating Jerry Sosby to claim the Super Comp title. In stock, Greg Rowe made his fourth career stock victory an easy one when Jimmy Hildego fouled. John Taylor ran dead on in the Super Gas Final to score his second national event victory of the season, beating former Pro Comp racer Al Kenny. In top dragster, Jeff Strickland used his 005 reaction and was 002 at the stripe to win his first top dragster crown over Steve Furr. Top sportsman racer Tommy Turner was on and off the throttle after Jeffrey Barker broke on the starting line. This was Turner's first career win in the category. Rounding out the Lucas Oil Sportsman Divisions, Eddie Pauly won his first career NHRA Super Street National event as he beat Brad Plourd for the Super Street crown. Next up, the 24-race NHRA Mellow Yellow Tour heads to Topeka, Kansas for the NHRA Kansas Nationals. Stay tuned to CompetitionPlus.com for all the latest news and make sure to like us on Facebook. Kathy Fisher, CompetitionPlus.tv.